hello everyone uh, welcome again uh, so in a previous lecture we have discussed uh, about the uh, hook rope design <clears throat> then the shoe uh, shoe axle uh, with the bearing now next uh, we, we are going to design of hook so okay so initially hook r is in a cross section uh, as shown in figure the hook section is shown in a figure. The cross section of the hook, we are considering uh, generally the trapezoidal one. So uh, as the it can feel uh, in a bending stress, uh, we will discuss one by one, okay? So while designing the hook, uh, we initially take the safe load, uh, which we have considered the 20% uh, greater than that of uh, the design uh, or can say, uh, given load so 1.2 times in the load of the lifting that is a 12 ton so multiplied by 1.2 what we get 14.4 ton that is a design load for the hook now referring the PhD page number 9.11 and selecting the standard uh, hook based on uh, uh, considering uh, the material of C113 with the capacity uh, just before that we will go to the pages phd pages 9.11 okay here it is shown uh, for uh, the given stress uh, or you can say uh, we have a design value of 14.4 ton but in that standard design uh, we have 16 ton so i have highlighted over here 16 ton uh, with the proper uh, uh, proof load of 32 tons, uh, the value of C, you can see the diameter or the internal diameter that is denoted by C is 151 to 131 mm and the diameter of G that is a upper portion, it is shown over here, that is uh, near about 80 to 70, 70 to 80. And here uh, you can use the standard threads uh, with M68 to M76, uh, having a pitch of six. Okay, so these are the standard ones. Out of that, we have selected over here. Okay, so the value of C is considered as a 131, 161, uh, M is equal to 0 0.6 times of C, Z is equal to 0 0.12 times of C, H is equal to 0 0.43, 93 times of C. So we have calculated all the values. Uh, then not for hook, we have selected M68. Then shank, uh, shank diameter G is equal to 70 mm. Uh, it should be uh, based on the 5% exceed uh, than that of the design one. So we have selected here the thrust uh, bearing SK5134 314 uh, because uh, the whole load carried at the hook is totally or pure thrust or axial load so no radial load is considering over here the radial movement can be considered uh, what you can say twisting movement is considerable uh, but we are uh, most of the load which is acting over the bearing of the hook is a thrust thrust load or axial load so pure thrust load or axial load bearing is to be selected okay now here it is shown the portion area above area the value of this is a g1 you can say m68 outer diameter of the material is 68 core diameter is 0 0.84 times of uh, uh, the outer diameter that is 67.12 mm then the basic di dimension of this sec section is 70 mm now the now the cross section area of the hook which is we have selected the trapezoidal one okay so this trapezoidal uh, cross section you can find out or the calculations related to uh, this uh, trapezoidal cross section you can refer phd page page number 6.3 where the all the frames are given now how we can select uh, this cross sectional area 
so inner area is uh, taking higher load that is a pure tensile load so that's why the inner uh, width or you can say uh, thickness should be more so the bi value is more than that of outer frame uh, at the outer frame uh, purely compressive stresses are induced at the cross section so that uh, the inner diameter or you can say inner uh, fiber outer fiber is uh, having lesser thickness so that the weight can be reduced okay so based on that the trapezoidal cross section has been defined so bi internal um, width that is uh, m is equal to 78.6 mm bo that is twice of z that is 31.44 n is equal to h is equal to n is equal to h that is equal to 1.21.83 all these standard values are available in psg okay so here those equations are given so based on these equations you can find out the standard values okay okay next one by referring uh, the phg page number uh, 6.3 we can find out the uh, load or you can say uh, the radius so uh, here by using curved beams we are calculating the radiuses where the rn is the distance from the center of curvature to the neutral axis and capital r is the distance from the center of curvature of the centroid axis which is available in PSG page number um, 6.3 okay so uh, referring uh, these equations we can find out rn is equal to one half bi plus bo into h there uh, then bi into bo minus bo into ri divided by h natural log of ro divided by ri minus bi minus bo so putting all the values what we get rn is equal to 107.978 mm now how to calculate capital r r is equal to that is uh, distance from the center of curvature to the centroid axis r is equal to ri plus h bi plus choice of bo divided by thrice uh, bi plus bo where capital r gate r is equal to 117.71 mm now eccentricity e is equal to uh, r, capital r or minus rn so the small e is equal to 9.30 13 mm the area of tra trapezoidal cross section small a is equal to bi plus bo divided by 2 into h so a is equal to 6703.08 mm square so hi is equal to rn minus ri that is 42.478 mm now selecting uh, the material for hook from phg page number 1.12 that is c50 hardened and tempered steel sigma yt for that is 850 considering with the factor of safety is equal to 4 then design tensile strength is equal to 212.5 bending strength is equal to 212.5 and uh, tau is equal to 108.25 newton per mm square now there are three critical cross sections we have to check the section 11 section 22 section 33 now section 1 and section 3 uh, section 1 and section 2 are purely uh, tense uh, what you can say uh, first section 11 is in a direct tensile which is occurred at the top of the uh, cross section. So at here, the direct tensile has been done. Here, I mean, just a minute, I will sh show you. So here is the cross section. Uh, here is the cross section one one. Here's the second, uh, third cross section. And here is the second cross section. So in a section, section one one, 
the pure tensile is occurred in section two bending is occurred and section three uh, the direct tensile is occurred okay so we will let's see how it occurs in section one one direct tensile failure is considered so sigma yt induced is equal to load divided by area load is a uh, 14.4 ton that is a uh, uh, 14 144 hundred uh, thousand newton divided by area pi by 4 dc square so we are considering the core diameter of the uh, nut so that is the lower diameter where the maximum stress can be induced so putting all the values what we get the induced stress is 56.19 newton per mm square which is lesser than the design stress so section 11 is safe now for section 3.3, this is the directly shear where the actual load is acting over the hook curve. Uh, so direct shear is uh, considered uh, tau induced is equal to load upon the area. So area is 6703.08, uh, uh, load is 14.4 ton. So induced tau value is 21.40. 8 newton per mm square which is lesser than the design one that is the 106.25 so hence the section uh, 22 is also get safer now section sorry section 33 is get safer now next one is a section 22 that is a we have shown the trapezoidal cross section area where the combined tensile and bending stresses are to be considered when we consider the direct tensile strength, then sigma uh, T is equal to load divided by trapezoidal area. So we have already calculated the trapezoidal area and load. What we get, uh, the sigma D is equal to, uh, that is a direct tensile strength, uh, sigma uh, value is equal to 21.48 Newton per mm square. Now for considering the bending stress, referring the PhD page number 6.2, Sigma B is equal to M into B I into H I divided by A E R I, where M into B is equal to load into radio, capital R. So putting all the values, what we get, the combined tensile strength is equal to Sigma T is equal to Sigma direct tensile stress plus Sigma bending tensile stress. So putting all the values, what you get, that is equal to 119.02, okay? So which is lesser than the calc, uh, designed one. Hence, the section 22 is uh, again safe. So next one, calculate, uh, selecting the uh, bearing for the hook. We have considered SKFS1314 with the diameter D is equal to 70. Uh, then we have, as per the design, we have calculated all the remaining dimension H and D. Now, just note it down the, uh, the value of C and C0 dynamic capacity and static capacity. So, the required load was uh, 14 ton, 14.4 ton, that is a uh, 14,400 kg of load, but uh, about uh, selected bearing has. The dynamic capacity C0 is equal to 27,700 kgf. Hence, that is a, a base selected bearing is safe. Now, next step is to design the cross picks uh, where the hook and this hook bearing is getting mounted. So, you have to draw this uh, diagram compulsory while design where the low. Uh, uh, position of the hook bearing has been shown so that uh, the hook can be easily uh, uh, mounted over here and the remaining parameters are to be designed based on the uh, previous design or design of hook now the width of the cross section piece that is a b we have considered the 1.5 times of the outer diameter of the bearing okay so the outer diameter of bearing is 125 uh, which is uh, we have uh, noted down from the PSG standard value uh, selected bearing 
that is 1.5 into 125 that is 181.5 is the uh, width of the uh, cross piece now considering uh, the uh, moment of inertia of the cross section that is we have considered i cross section so i is equal to bt cube divided by 12 minus d d2 d t cube divided by 12 so here the b is the width and d is the diameter that is d2 which is shown in a diagram okay so d2 is nothing but the diameter upper diameter or straight diameter or the, that is a threaded diameter below the, the threads of the hook top, hook area okay that is a given okay so that is 72 uh, b is equal to 187.5 at we have calculated it is so calculating all the values in terms of uh, the value of t uh, that is i is equal to 9.6 to 5 t cube now next is the calculating of the moment of the moment of uh, load uh, then m is equal to w by 2 into uh, 15 plus 108 plus 5 minus w by 2 d by 2 okay where, where d is equal to nothing but uh, it's a moment from the center to the end so that we have calculated so putting out the values of w and d what we get moment is equal to 4.716 into 10 to 6 newton per mm now using the flexural formula sigma b is equal to m by i into y so y is nothing but t by 2 and we have calculated the value of uh, i in terms of t uh, that is uh, 9.625 uh, into t cube so the material is the same uh, we have considering same material as as per the shoe axial so that is uh, c50 so the value of sigma b is 120 value of m is equal to 4.716 into 10 to 6 divided by i that is 9.625 t cube into y is equal to t by 2 so here the thickness t is equal to 40 uh, 45 point 18 mm now area one third of the height of the bearing that is a 40 mm so area a is equal to 13.33 mm now the complete depth of the cross piece tc is equal to a plus t okay so tc is equal to 58.51 mm mm now the diameter of the trunnion diameter that is a uh, outer diameter of the that cross piece uh, by considering the uh, bending failure of the trunnion diameter using the structural formula sigma b is equal to m by z where m is equal to w by 2 into the 15 and z is equal to pi by 32 dt that is a trunnion diameter q sigma b again we are considering same material that is c50 so the sigma b is equal to 120 newton per mm square now putting all the values what we get the trunnion diameter is equal to 45.09 mm modifying this diameter dt is equal to 50 mm now next one diameter of the shackle plate now we have to design uh, the shackle plate which can be uh, carries these uh, hook uh, cross piece assembly so as shown in figure there are two holes as shown okay and thickness and width so the width of shackle plate b uh, by considering the pure tensile failure of the shackle plate at section 1 1 or you can say upper hole or lower hole any hole you can consider so sigma uh, tau is equal to load that is 2f divided by area that is a capital b total width minus diameter that is a da uh, which is uh, nothing but a 85 mm uh, which have, we have calculated multiplied by 20 so b is equal to 111.15 mm uh, we can modify that to 150 also okay so as per your convenience you can increase the uh, value of b but uh, consider that as the increases the value of b it can increase the weight now center to center distance 
CD is equal to D by 2 plus H into D by 2 plus 40 plus the height of the bearing plus the height of the nut plus the thickness of the cross piece. So putting all the values what we get the center distance is equal to 616 plus 0.25 mm. Now the length of the shackle plate the length L is equal to 1.5 DA plus uh, center distance plus 1.5 of DT. Okay, uh, tune and diameter. So uh, putting all the values, what we get? 818.15, uh, uh, sorry, 818.75 mm. So the length is modified to 820 mm. Okay, so that is the design which we have can uh, we have to do okay in the next uh, i hope uh, it might be uh, some uh, creating some confusion in the design okay uh, just uh, follow the steps and try to design uh, any eot crane in the next problem uh, we will elaborate more than the given one okay Next problem में हम लोग थोड़ा properly elaborate करेंगे कि design में uh, steps कौन से कौन से कैसे कैसे follow करना है okay so now, right now uh, our first problem has been completed I hope everybody understood a little bit I now I'm not expecting that everybody is uh, understood hundred percent but little bit you can understood and the remaining PhD pages I will upload soon. So that uh, you can refer uh, for designing that uh, uh, curvature uh, area dimensions for trapezoidal cross section and uh, the material uh, selection also. So I hope everybody understood it. Okay, thank you. Uh, we will meet in a uh, problem number two. Thank you.